Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing my currently list layout and I'll be documenting that in my traveler's notebook. I'll once again be using this uh, kit that I purchased from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club and I will go ahead post the link in the description box below for the unboxing of that kit. I will also post a link for the previous layouts I've done so far in this notebook. So I wanted to use tags to document my lists today and I'm using that brown tag just as a template to cut out the ones that I need. And there you can see me just marking where I'm going to be cutting and I'm marking on the back side of the paper so you won't see it later on on the sides that I will be using. So I noticed at this point that I only had one tag with the color blue and I wanted a, a second, at least one more with the color blue. So I grabbed that um, ombre color paper on the left and I'm gonna replace one of my tags with that paper. And once I'm done cutting that new tag out, I will start working on my background. So to work on my background, I'm going to grab that stencil that came with the kit along with some Distress Oxide ink pads. And I choose the color Broken China, uh, Fossilized Amber, and Hickory Smoke. I also chose a um, metallic gold ink pad and I ended up not using that at all. So next you'll see me applying those inks through the stencil using these daubers and I'll just apply uh, the inks randomly all over my layout. So I do love using this kit but I feel like I'm ready to move on to something new. My original plan was to use this kit until it was pretty much gone but at the beginning of September, I will be doing a DIY Traveler's Notebook stash kit. And if there's anything remaining from this kit, I will try to add it to that new September kit if it will coordinate. Otherwise, the remains will just go into my stash. So up until September, I will continue using this kit so i'm expecting to get at least two to three more layouts from this kit so hopefully there won't be much left at the end but yeah that's my plan moving forward and i do hope you guys consider subscribing today if you are not already subscribed go ahead click on that bell so you'll be notified once new um, videos have been posted So here I'm just applying just a little of the hickory smoke. I didn't use as much hickory smoke as I did with the other two colors. And this is what it looks like and I love it. So next I will be inking the edges of my tags using the Broken China Oxide ink. So inking the edges of these tags will help them stand out against that busy background. And once I'm done inking the edges of the tags, I'll go ahead and ink the edges of my layout as well and I'll use the hickory smoke. Next I'll go ahead and add some splatters and I'm using the Heidi Swap color shine in the color gold and I'll also add some more splatters using the shimmers inklings that came with the kit and it's the color coral reef now these uh, splatters made a huge difference it uh, popped against that background and I'm really happy I decided to use that and I'll give you guys a close-up look in a few moments. 
Now these, you do need to activate the inklings with water, like you saw me doing, and I'm using a paintbrush just to apply those splatters. So here you can see me adding some twine to my tags. And once I'm done adding twines to all four tags, I'll begin stamping. So I'll be using a stamp set by Studio Calico and it's called Never Stop Exploring. And at first I grabbed my black archival ink, but I figured I'd try to use the gray ink pad instead. But the stamps that I'll be using as the titles on my cards, they're um, on my tags, they're pretty small. So using the gray ink pad, it was just uh, too light. It needed something darker to help those small stamps stand out a bit more. So I went ahead and grabbed my black ink pad and I used that instead. So the first one I stamped, I used the stamp says uh, loving, then I used one says that says enjoying, the next one would say feeling, and then watching. So those are the four currently things I'll be documenting today for August. Now, while I was stamping, I used my craft mat to line up my tag and help me line up my stamp as well to keep them straight. And it did work pretty well. And later on, I will give you guys an overview of what I added to my, um, my tags as the journaling. But next, we'll start working on the title. So whenever I receive a kit from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, there's usually a piece of washi that seals the baggies that it comes in. And I saved that washi and that will be the washi that I'm trying to use right now that goes down the center but I don't like how it look in the center, so I'll go ahead and add it to the bottom instead. Now I did add it down the center in an attempt to hide the staples because I am in the middle of my notebook right now. So I'm gonna work on my title and it says currently. I'm gonna start in the center of my layout with the letter E and work my way out. Then I'm going to go back, start with the letter R and move my way backwards just to have my uh, title centered on my layout. I'm also using my T-square ruler to keep it nice and straight. Now you, can't, you can hardly see my title because the puffies are white and it's pretty lost right now, but in a few moments, I'll add some color and you'll see it appear. So here I'm about to grab my archival ink pad in the color Vibrant Fuchsia. And then I'll add that all over my title and I will add it to the edges of my layout as well. And next I'll begin working on my tags. So for August, I am documenting what I'm enjoying, which would be one-on-one -on -one time spent with my daughter. And I'm also documenting what I'm loving, which would be these last few weeks before um, the chaos begins when school routine kicks in. And I am documenting as well what I'm watching, which would be Big Brother. 
And this was on my July list as well. I do enjoy watching Big Brother. And I'm also documenting, last but not least, what I'm feeling. And it's、uh, a little harder to explain this one. It's a bittersweet feeling because school is about to begin and the routine that comes with it. I am looking forward to the routine. It helps when you know, the kids are in school and they have a routine to follow. But at the same time, I am going to miss the freedom、uh, we have during the summer of no routines. So it's a, it's a little difficult to explain, but I'm not sure if I'm the only one that feels this way. But、um, that's what I'm feeling this month, and that's what I'm documenting. So next, we'll move on to embellishments. So, I went ahead and added some embellishments to my page. And right now, I'm trying to figure out where I'm g o n n a add that、um, Claire border sticker. So, to the lower right side, I added a sticker that says, I live for summer days. I added another one that says, Staycation. And I also added in that、um, pink felt bow. Now, the Bow was actually attached to the paper clip that you see over in the top left corner. And to that left,、uh, cluster, top left cluster, I added in a sticker with a branch, and you can see it now. And I'm adding in a clear sticker there. And when I added the washi tape to the bottom of my layout, there was that little piece left over. So that's what I'm gonna add to that top left cluster now. And that's pretty much it for this、um, layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go ahead, give me a thumbs up. And I hope you consider subscribing today if you haven't already su、uh, subscribed to my channel. And I wanna thank you guys for watching. And until my next video, bye.